But your offense hasn't turned the ball over yet this season. Is that sort of that? I know. <laughs> you know, it, it's something that obviously you um, – we don't talk a bunch about it, you know. We don't talk about turnover. We do talk about ball security and all that, but you know, it's uh, it, it's their jobs. You know, offensively, it's our jobs to uh, to protect the ball, and, and then defensively, you know, obviously, uh, get takeaways and and uh, you know, for two games now, not having a turnover uh, is something uh, something to be said. It's it's a pride factor with the guys. So you want to empty back in the first five plays of the game? Is that showing a trust in in Carson that? You know, this guy's beyond a, a rookie in your mind. Yeah, trust in him, trust in the offense, um, offensive line, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, the, the throws were, were uh, you know, they were possession type throws. They were throws that were out of his hand fast. Um, things we had seen on, on tape uh, from, from Chicago in, in empty formations and a and, uh, great way to get our quarterback into a rhythm early and, and kind of get him settled in. What were your impressions of his overall performance? I thought he played. Uh, I thought he played well. Uh, obviously, well enough to win. And and uh, you know, again, he took care of the football and, and made made some stood in there and made made some nice tough throws. You know, um, and uh, uh, again, was it perfect? Uh, by no means was it perfect. But at the same time, he's seeing things really well, and he's commanding the huddle and the dialogue on the sideline with players and coaches with him is is uh, something that. Um, um, a nine, ten-year vet would do, uh, and it's just showing his maturity and and uh, <clears throat> the the ability that he has to, to, to play quarterback. Doug, what was your thinking using straight? Go behind for the first time this year. I think it's early in the second quarter. You're kicking field goals in the, in the first half. What was the mood of the sideline like? Uh, you know, because that can be kind of deflating for a team. Like that. The mood was great. The mood was, guys, we got to we got to continue to play. Um, plays are there, and you know, we just missed Selick early. Uh, you know, knocked away. Missed, uh, you know, Trey Burton ball was knocked away, and then Jordan Matthews right before the half, uh, you know, went through his arm. So, you know, the the mentality was we just got to continue to stay aggressive. The guys were great. Um, th there was no letdown. They they knew that they could get back out there and sustain drives. We just had to stop really shooting us ourselves in the foot and, and, and do that. Wentz took his fair share of shots in this game. Just wonder how you, how you feel about his uh, decision making. Yeah, you know, we after the first one and then uh, the second one, you know, you just continue to talk to him about protecting himself, and you know, we just had those conversations again on the sideline, and uh, he understands, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, it's something that uh, um, we just got to continue to to keep talking, and uh, just you know, again, it's not that it's not that I need that extra yard right now. Um, I just need him to protect himself and, and uh, uh, get out of bounds when he can, throw away when he can. And, uh, and and use use that to his favor. Do you put more in his play? Uh, okay, is he hurt? What's his situation? Yeah, Sturgis is fine. Had just had some cramps on the sideline there in the second half. Did you put more in Carson's plate this week, or is it pretty much the same as last week? Um, it was pretty much the same. You know, we didn't we didn't overload him again. We kept it uh, kept the game plan. Uh, you know, simple for him, simple for the guys. So uh, it wasn't wasn't anything that we did to, to uh, you know overload him or give him any more. Any more. On those off schedule plays, it seems like he always has his eyes downfield. Is that something you've always seen from him, and, and how beneficial? Yeah, he, he's always always had the ability, you know, to, to keep his uh, his vision down the field. That's what that's what makes makes him a good pocket passer. He's been able to see the uh, see the entire field that way. Uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's gosh, when, when guys are falling around his feet and the protection sort of the, the pocket kind of collapses, he's he's always he's always looking to make a play down the field and. And uh, even on some of the scrambles tonight, he took some shots down the field. We didn't we didn't capitalize on him, but but it's great to see that he can he can see that that part of the field. What's clicking right now? 